today we are going to learn about enterprise content management learning outcome for this session are at the end of this session student will able to explain the importance of enterprise content management in today's world and they can also able to explain ecm that is enterprise content management life cycle stages what is an enterprise content management as we know the modern enterprise generates volumes of document messages and memos that by nature contain unstructured content that is for example data or information so enterprise generate the content which can be in a structured manner or which can be in unstructured manner and also we need instant and reliable access to the archive document which are maybe in form of electronic form or maybe in form of paper form and which is a older data or older document now to manage these documents the present document as well as the previous document enterprise content management is the solution what is an ecm ecm is the strategies methods and tools which are used to capture manage store preserve and deliver content and documents related to the organizational process so the strategies the methods the tools the software all this together is called as the ecm now what basically ecm does ecm captures all these data and information and document then it can be stored it can be preserved for a longer time and whenever required the content and documents can be delivered to the user all this is coming under the scope of enterprise content management ecm covers the management of information within the entire scope of enterprise that means if the enterprise has different branches then all branches will come under the scope and it cons consist of the paper documents which are the older one bills or notices then electronic file electronic database database print stream so, so there are if there are any print stream that will also include under the ecm emails now in today's world emails is one of the important medium of communication and then email will also come under the scope of ecm then if there are some messages there are some spreadsheet faxes reports case studies case notes even the legal paper presentations in an enterprise a lot many presentations are generated this presentation and voice mails will also come under the scope of ecm so as we can see the ecm requires to handle a structured as well as non structured information it may also in involve conversion of data between various digital and traditional form including paper and the microfilm so as we know for example take an example of a bank checks the older system they were the older system or even in some of the banks the newer system supports the bank check now this bank check are in the paper form in order to convert into the ecm they need to be scanned so ecm is an umbrella covering document management web content management search collaboration record management digital asset management workflow management capturing and scanning and preserving then what is the advantages of ecm for an organization so as we can guess the ecm advantages of ecm for the organization include improve efficiency better control and reduce cost of everything so now here dear student you can pause the video for a while and uh, answer this question with a suitable example and the question is comment on importance of ecm for an organization how ecm is helping for the organization so you have to pause the video for some time and you have to answer the question i hope uh, you have uh, given a thought over what is an importance of the ecm for an organization we'll move ahead and then we'll try to understand what is the difference between a record and a document see a basic difference between a record or document is the document are subject to revision 
the document keep on changing they are reviewed and re-reviewed and returned and re-returned and they are changed however once the document is freezed then it becomes a record and then the record cannot be modified or deleted as you can see this is a record management system or a record uh, uh, life cycle the document is first created by someone then it is reviewed and then there is a version control so document keep on changing now the document include the paper document it also include the it, it also include the email now some of the documents which are not supposed to be used in the future they are they they are destroyed and then the documents which are required for the next they are they are kept into the small smart folders or they are captured so this is called as the document management where the documents are created reviewed and they undergo the version control once the document is closed means it is required that there will not be further modification in document then uh, then it, it it is it is called as a record and then the records are kept as you can see over here the record are maintained and then there is a record administration system under which the classification management or activity trigger or access right or activity audit retention policy and disposition rules all this this will this will this will operate on the record and then the records are maintained maybe after some some days or some months or some years the older records are not required then the record can also be destroyed so this diagram very clearly shows a difference between what is a document and what is a record a document will undergo a review a document is a live document and once the document is closed and then it is used only for the read operation then it is called as the record what are the companies which are leading into enterprise content management there are many companies today which are helping all these enterprise for offering the ecm solution some of the companies include hp autonomy then there is an ibm there is an there is a company called as an m file open text oracle web center perspective content 7 and spring cm these are few of the companies which are helping the organization to design build and operate the ecm solutions one of the important aspect of elect enterprise content management is also a data visualization uh, as we know all this content is kept into uh, into a computerized record or computerized system sometime it is required for a manager or for the user to visualize into this and then comes what is called as the data visualization tool Data visualization refers to the technique used to communicate data or information by encoding it as a visual object. That is, it can be it can be in form of point or lines or bar charts or pie chart contained in a graphics. So the front end of this data or ECM will come as a what is called as the data visualization. The primary goal of data visualization is to communicate information clearly and efficiently via statistical graphs plots and information graphics as we know the saying a picture is worth of thousand a picture is worth of thousand words so similarly there is a huge data and this huge data cannot be visualized only in a tabular manner if we convert this data into meaningful graphs or charts then it will convey the same information but in a more prominent way and that can be done using different data visualization front end softwares available then this effective visualization helps user analyze and reason about data and the evidence so the data analysis can be very easily done if it can if it if it can be visualized by the managers it makes complex data more accessible understandable and usable these are some of the this is just a snapshot giving you what different kind of data visualization or what different kind of uh, uh, charts or plots that can be seen by along with your conventional bar graph and pie graph there can be number of visualization tools uh, or visualization graph that can be seen uh, so that with that we come to the end of today's session where we learn about electronic uh, that is enterprise content management and uh, data visualization the references for this sessions you can refer to a book by uh, turban and uh, volvino that is information technology for management and second book by uh, stair and reynolds and that is information system thank you very much